I want to connect this to this. I want to use a cymbal stand for my drum set as a microphone stand. So we're going to design and 3D print a thread adapter. I'm showing the 3D modeling in almost real time here. It's only sped up 2x because I want to show how easy it is to model a simple part like this. One end is threaded for the mic stand, which is 5 8 diameter with 27 threads per inch. Apparently it's a standard. And the other end has a hexagonal shoulder so I can tighten it with a wrench and an M8 threaded hole, which is what's standard for cymbal stands. There's a point that I'm trying to make in this video about the usefulness of 3D printing. It's a question a lot of people ask, and it's why you see a lot of YouTube videos are like five practical 3D prints, and it'll show things like a pencil holder or like a little stand for your phone. But the problem is that I can go to Target and buy a pencil holder. It's a product that a lot of people need, and so a lot of companies make it. And where I find 3D printing really powerful is when you have a problem that nobody else has. And so nobody makes a product for it, and so you've got to make it yourself. This thing that I'm making here is actually a bad example because somebody does make this. Gibraltar makes an adapter to connect a microphone to a cymbal stand, but the problem is that it breaks. If you look at the Amazon reviews, they're really bad because it breaks and I bought one and it broke. So maybe somebody does make the weird thing that you need, but it's not good enough or it doesn't work exactly how you want it to or you don't want to wait for it to be shipped to you. What we're looking at here is Cura, which is the slicer. So a slicer takes the 3D model made by the 3D modeling program and figures out how to print it with a 3D printer. Essentially, the printer has to draw lines layer by layer to form the part, and it's the slicer that figures out how to do that. This part ended up being four grams of material, which is like 10 cents worth of filament, and it's only gonna take 34 minutes to print. So if you're thinking about buying a 3D printer, I say go for it. Buy an Ender 3. They're cheap and they're really popular, which means that there's a great community around them and lots of cool add-ons. That's the printer I have. But if you're gonna do that, I suggest you also learn some 3D modeling. Because once you have that tool in your toolkit, you'll be surprised at how much you use it. I use Fusion 360 for 3D modeling, which is a little hard to learn. I suggest people start with SketchUp, which is what I started with. Anyways, thanks for watching.